What it do, gangsters? <sighs> Just finished eight miles non stop. Non stop. I was looking at me funny. But, anyways. Let me make sure this is on. Yeah, it's on. All right. So I just did eight miles and I stopped. Hang on. Oops, sorry. Ugh, top heavy there. I just got to get a drink. <sighs> Whoa. Sponsor? Sponsor? I wish. This stuff's a bomb. So, eight miles. Uh, it's pretty hot today. So, it was a little rough. The first mile, well, the first lap, I should say, went pretty easy. There we go. Yeah, the first lap went pretty easy. But I feel like that's... There we go. Ugh. Getting a video bomb there. So, guy's on his toes. No! Uh, man. First lap was good. First four miles. Second lap was actually pretty good. It didn't get hard till like the seventh mile. Then I started feeling it. A little bit of that's because of the heat. It's a little, it's the heat of the day. It was like, 80 degrees today so a little bit warm but you know what can't use that always as an excuse unless it's like excessive heat but i don't think 80 is excessive still got the bike shit in the back of my truck would someone please steal this shit please I'm tired of it being back there so anyways i don't know if this is getting me in the whole picture or not but hopefully it is i just feel like that's cricket yeah, good enough, right? So I'm out here at Mile Square Park. I had to push myself for that second lap. I had to earn it big time. I had to earn that shiz. Uh, but I'm glad I did it because I took last week off the whole week. I didn't do any cardio and uh, just did weight training, like I said in the video this morning. Just weight training. That's okay. I needed my uh, my legs and my hips, everything to recover fully because, you know, I was pretty sore last week. And uh, I didn't really want to overdo it. So it felt a lot better today than I thought it was gonna. So especially the first lap, that went very smooth and uh, it wasn't hard. Second lap went mostly smooth. Just the last mile got hard. And that's about it. Some golfers out there doing their thing. Doing the golf action. I've never golfed before. I would like to someday. So I'm glad I got this run out of the way today. So tomorrow I'll try to do at least four miles and uh, you know start getting back after it you know you take a week off it's real easy to fall back into excuses you know to not get back out here and start doing it again but every time I do I get back out here I'm glad I did because you forget you, you forget real quick actually how good it feels you know you forget real quick even if you just get out here and just walk it still makes you feel better you know not my <sighs> it's just such a nice park, man. Would you look at this? Just look at it. It's beautiful out here. That's why I love this park, man. Just look at it. Obviously, I've been watching a lot of Ed Bassmaster. Because that's my new thing I stole from him. Just look at it. So you got a guy in the RV over here camping out. 
Which ain't a bad gig, I'm sure. I mean, I'm kind of jealous, actually, because you know what? That dude don't have to pay any rent. He's free. He can go wherever he wants. Right, little dude? Right, little dude? But he, you look fat. You look really fat. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, Bobby. Hi. Hi. Hey, say hi to YouTube. Say hi. It's YouTube right there. You ain't scared at all. All right, don't jump on me. I want you to scratch me. Here, let's, let's watch him for a second. Come on, dude. Let's go. <laughs> He's running from me now. He's running. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope, not today. Oh, Mr. Crow. Oh, look at him. He's darting over there now. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's going up. Oh, he saw the crow. Where'd that crow go? Crow has snuck up on him, scared the crap out of him, I think. Yeah. So, we got little squirrels over here that aren't scared. Obviously, right, little dude? Right, little dude? There he goes. Yep, up the tree he goes. He's growling at me now. All right, I'll leave him alone. <sighs> Man, feels good. So, I was thinking about giving the buff alien a call since it's my Saturday. I don't know what he's got going, but I was going to give him a call and uh, invite him out to go bowling because I know he's a really good bowler. So I'm going to hit him up and see if he wants to do some bowling tonight and uh, have him whoop my ass in bowling. But it's all good. Everything he does, he's fucking almost expert at, you know. So, it's always good to have someone that's really good at almost everything around you, you know. That way, you know, everything you do, you get your ass whooped. <laughs> but no, it's all good. So if I can get him to go out and do some bowling tonight, that'd be kind of fun. It's been a minute since I've done that, or maybe I can, if he doesn't want to do that, maybe I can talk him into going to the batting cages or something. Do something besides sit in the house and flog the dolphin all night, you know. You know, sitting around snapping the radish all night ain't doing nothing, you know. So it's good to kind of get out every once in a while, you know. I, I need to practice more what I preach here, that's for sure. I don't get out enough, you know. A lot of that's due to because of how expensive everything is these days. But just like, you know, working out, the excuses start to fly. You know, there's things you can go do, or I can go do, I speak for myself, that don't cost much money, you know. So, I am gonna, um, I gotta go check on my other friend tonight. He hasn't returned my text, so I'm getting a little worried about him. And uh, so I'll be checking on him later. And um, also, uh, I'm gonna start the unboxing tonight, hopefully. If I don't go bowling, then I'll do the uh, live, live unboxing. And, uh, see what we got there as far as the two-stroke motorcycle conversion kit that I'll be starting soon because um, my buddy he bought it for me and, you know as a, as a gift and you know I want to make sure I get that handled I don't want to disrespect him you know just sit on it forever so I would definitely want to get that started plus it'll be neat to have that thing running because it'll be a lot funner than my little scooter I have right now which I will be do an update video on that soon so uh, we'll do a up like an eight month update or, or so and uh, we'll let you know how it held up and uh, that's all I'll say on that I'll save all the details for uh, uh, the update video on that but it's super nice out right now it's, it's getting near uh, mosquito feeding time oh I just stepped in a big hole almost ate it but uh, I got the Sun as the as the mask would say I got the Sun shining in my face and uh, got a pretty girl over there with pretty hair she's eyeballing me I saw her I caught her what's up girl let me take you away from that dweeb haha <laughs> She's awfully cute to be with that little scrawny dude. Ah, she looks like gel bait anyways. Never mind. I take that back. Can't, can't see people sometimes from a distance. 
But anyways, check this out, man. It's a beautiful golf course. Look at that shit. That's nice, man. That's a nice golf course. So, uh, good run. Feel good. I definitely feel a little, I feel like I may maybe gained a weight, I gained a pound of weight over the week of not running, but that's okay. I'm definitely still turtle man. Everybody was passing me today. That's okay. I think I'm going to be turtle man for a while. Every, every time I come here, this chick's freaking rollerblading. She's like 80 years old. She's out there killing it. Check her out. Look at that shit. I've seen her for years, man. I think I've seen her out here for eight years. I've never seen her eight, eight years ago doing the same thing, man. She ain't found it. There's not an ounce of fat on her body. So, pretty awesome. So, just checking in. Uh, vlogging my my day one uh, jog. I'll be doing it again tomorrow. And uh, that's about all I got for now. I'm going to a concert uh, Saturday. So, that's gonna. I'll have some footage of that. Hopefully, um, it should turn out pretty good. It's gonna be an awesome concert. Testament, Creator, and Possessed. It's gonna be rad. So, anyways, y'all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for whatevs. I got some more coming up because it's my weekend. That's usually when I do a lot of my uh, filming. So, we'll catch y'all later. See ya.